what's up you guys it is your girl kelly nicole i am back with another craft nerds tutorial today we are doing a fun 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 mother's day item i know this item is going to be hot so go ahead and make it it's before mother's day it's super easy to make it's made on an eight and a half by 11 scale and I know whoever you make this for would absolutely love it. So you're going to either go over to my website or either over to my Etsy store and you're going to purchase your template. If you're good with Canva, you're going to go inside of Canva. You're going to open up, open up your purse template right here. And then you are simply going to upload whatever design that you desire. It could be flowers it could be a certain pattern or whatever you want whatever kind of design you want um i wanted to try a designer inspired so i went over to adobe and i purchased this background it's just black it's like a tuft background drop it over drop it over drop it over and so, like I said, I wanted this to be designer inspired. So I went and got a Chanel logo. I just got it off the line. Just going to put it on here. It's fun. Um, you can put another one somewhere if you'd like. I would like to make this one smaller. And then I would like to move it over. And then I can either put it down here or I can put it right here, which I think is very cute. And so guess what? Our design is done. If I wanted to put, you know, Happy Mother's Day right here instead of this logo, you can put whatever you want on your project. So now I'm simply going to share this. If you got a printer that prints eight and a half by 11, you're good because this is the template size. You're going to share. Once you share, you're going to say download. This is how I print. Um, this is how I print and it stays the exact size that it needs to print. And so I'm going to come over here to where it says download PNG. I'm going to print a PDF standard. That's what I'm going to print. I mean, that's what I'm going to download. Sorry. Then I'm going to download it. So I'm going to go to my downloads. Then we're going to open our template right here. All you got to do is simply print this on whatever kind of paper you're going to use. I'm going to show you what kind of paper I use, but you can print this on sticker paper. We're making this out of foam board and uh, you print it just like this. It's already the size. You don't have to resize it or anything. It just make sure you download it how I showed you. That's your Photoshop document link. And this is how you will work that magic. So you are going to open up, let's say you had a design that you wanted to put inside. Let's open up this one right here from, I'm going to select all, edit copy. I'm going to go over to my Adobe design. And if you notice, I have labeled them front, back, side, side. When you get it, you will only have the top two layers turned on. Everything else will be turned off. And so you know that it's turned on or off by the little eye that's on or off. And so you have to do this in layers. So you're going to go where it says paste photo here for front, edit, paste, and it'll drop it right inside of your template. Then you can say file, save as, save it as a PNG to your computer or save it as a JPEG to your computer. That way you can print it out however you need to print it out. So once you get the front, you're going to turn it off. Then you're going to turn on the next two, which is the back. If you want the same design, you're going to click where it says paste photo here for back, edit, paste. There you have your template. If you need to move it around, you can. If it like had a design on it, it could be flowers. Um, it can be any design you want. So I'm going to come over and open up something else. Let me find something else. Um, Let's say I wanted this. This is totally something that, let me see if I got the original. I downloaded that for someone. Where's the original? Okay, there it is. Let's say I wanted this design, which I could. I could just write Happy Mother's Day on it. You know, if it was some flowers, florals, anything you want to do. I would take this. I would select all, edit copy. I will come over to my template. Let's say I wanted it here. I'm just going back. 
hit it, copy. And then I'm going to paste it here. And then I would have this template inside of here. So you just do that for each layer. As you do your layer, then you're going to turn on the next two, do the same thing, turn them off. And then you're going to turn on the last layer, side one, side two. So that's how you work your magic in Photoshop. Okay, so I printed out everything. I printed this with my eight and a half by 11 printer. It's printed on photo paper. Um, I have an Epson printer that prints eight and a half by 11. And this is also Epson paper, but it, it just so happens to be the professional photo paper. So I printed it out. I did put a hole in it because I'm gonna put some purse chain on this one. I'm gonna make this one look a little different than my other ones, but I'm gonna show you just how to do it. So um, I have a hole in it, but the one that we designed did not have a hole in it, but I have a pre-design in there where you can have this one right here inside of your bundle. It's, I, this one is actually in there. And so we're actually gonna you know, cut out our circle. We're gonna put on these, I cut these out with my Cricut. It's just two little round circles. I cut them out with my Cricut and I put, um, I used a, like a metallic, uh, I'm sorry. I cut these out with my Cricut and I used metallic poster board. And so I'm going to put these right here once I cut everything out. It looks really good. Everything else is the same as we just designed it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go outside. I'm going to show you how I glue it down and then we'll get started. We are outside. This is the glue that I'm using. It is Craft Bond Spray Glue. And so I like to spray this outside. You can spray it inside in a well ventilated area, but I like to spray mine outside because I don't like to smell it. So we are outside. I'm simply going to lay this down. I'm going to lightly spray it. And then I'm going to put it on my board. I always like to wear a glove because um, it makes my hand really sticky. And I do not like my hand to be sticky because it's hard to get this glue off the, of your hands. Spray it lightly. Press it down with my hand that's doesn't have glue on it. It's super easy. So we have everything glued down. Now we're gonna go back inside and cut it out we are back inside and we are going to cut everything out if you see any of my other vending machines we cut it out the same exact way my vending machine tutorials on youtube this is a ruler it has cork on the back it has metal on the front and we are going to use this to cut this out straight and try to make it as straight as possible. The cork helps it not to slide. So we, we're gonna line it up on the edge. We're gonna keep our fingers back. We're gonna use our X-Acto knife and we are going to cut this out. You're gonna go slow and steady. You gotta make sure your blade is good and sharp. That actually prevents you from cutting yourself actually. We're gonna put this on the edge. We're gonna slide this along the edge. I, I like to do two passes to make sure it's cut. I'm gonna move this out of the way while I finish cutting this out. Put it on the edge, slide slowly, slide slowly. Make your way all the way around. Keep going slow. Like I said, I like to make two passes. I'm gonna cut this window out right here because I want a window on it to show products. 
I'm actually gonna do it this way. I found out that it was easier if I, I always put my ruler on this side and cut, but it's actually a little easier if I go on this side. That way I can see when to start and stop. So I'm just gonna go slow and I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna pass twice and stop at the end of the box. Put this on the line, slide, slide. Keep turning it around. Slide, slide. Turn around. Slide, slide. I'm just gonna simply push this out. Sometimes you gotta turn it over just to make sure you connect it in the corners. And if you didn't, just connect those corners and then push it out. So I have a little slot right here where we're gonna put money. So I'm gonna cut that out the same way. I'm gonna put my ruler on the outside of it and then I'm gonna slide it down twice, maybe even three times. I'm gonna turn it over this way. Slide, slide, slide. Once I get both, once I get both of these sides cut out, then I'm just gonna take my knife, I'm gonna kinda hold it up, and I'm just gonna cut the end. Just stick it in the where the side of the white little box is. Then I'm gonna turn it over, make sure I connect my cuts, make sure everything is connected, and then I'm gonna try to push it out like that, and it should just fall out. So I have that piece cut out. Now let's cut out the other pieces. The way I made this one with the holes in it, it might be a little difficult to cut out, but hey, we can do it. But the template that I got, have for you guys in the bundle, it does not have the hole in it. So, well, I included one with the hole and without the hole is what I mean. So it has both. twice Let's flip this over there's two other items that you need to print out I have a little divider that goes inside of the purse the bottom of the purse and you have to print those out as well there's also a little money box holder that you need to cut out i have a png in there you can print it out and cut it as well but i'm just going to show you how simple it is to just cut it freehand but i do have a png in there so you can or svg both if you need to put it in your printer and print it out or put it in your Cricut or your silhouette and print it, cut it out. And then you'll know exactly what size the template should be to go on the bottom. We're almost done cutting this out. This project does not take nearly as long as a vending machine. It's actually pretty simple. It's actually pretty easy and actually pretty fun. And I already, like I said before, whoever gets this, a gift like this, I think they will be totally satisfied. I really do. Okay, so we have our pieces cut out, all of our pieces. 
Now I'm going to cut these circles out. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to keep my fingers back and I'm just going to cut a line down the, down the middle like so. And then I'm just going to go around the edge. I'm going to turn my blade and then I'm just going to, it does not have to be perfect because it's going to cover, get covered up by this. And I did that on purpose. So, so you won't see any ragged edges that was that were hard to cut out so i cut out half of it now i'm going to simply cut out the other half and this is a hole that i'm going to put purse chain in my the other ones that i made they all had handles this is the first one i'm making with the purse chain i'm going to do this one the same way You can be really creative with this. You can do it like this. You can do it with the handle. If you have an old purse that you don't use and you have a handle on it, you possibly could use it. You just be creative. Okay, let's move our knife far away so we won't cut ourselves. I'm going to put my blade back on here for now. Then I have my two little circles that I cut out with my Cricut. See how they fit? So I'm just going to glue this on with hot glue. Normally I wouldn't do this, but I probably would use some other kind of glue. But this will be fine. That's going to be so cute. Okay, so I have my two circles glued on. So my scrap that I have left over, I'm gonna cut my bottom and my little divider, purse divider, out of this, this scrap. You have a PNG and a SVG file inside of your download, and it is going to be, one is going to be labeled bottom, one is going to be labeled purse divider. I printed this out on regular printer paper and I've used this before. I use it, every one I make, I use the same template. So when I printed it out, of course it had white all around it, but I'm using it over and over again. So I'm gonna put it on the edge, save myself two cuts on the side. I use my little T-pins. to hold it in place. And I'm simply gonna cut out, you only need one divider and one bottom. It doesn't have any shelves in it, so you don't have to worry about that. I always try to make these a little bit longer than needed. That way you can take off a little bit if, if because you know, people glue them together different. And so I always make them a little bit longer than needed. That way you can shave away some if you need, if, if, if need be, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna put this one here. Also save me two cuts. Put it on the edge. We're gonna need one more little piece that we're going to use to make a little money holder, but you can make it out of any scrap. I can make it out of this piece. I'll probably reach over and grab another piece and then I'm gonna make that little piece out of here. So I'm just gonna sit that to the side and we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna put these little pins to the side. I like to move sharp objects because I don't wanna cut myself. So now we have all of our pieces cut out this is a window so before we get started i'm going to take some of this clear acetate that i buy from amazon i use it to make cake treats 
um, not treats that you eat, but I use it to make cake toppers. So I'm going to cut this window down to size. After I cut it down to size, I'm gonna cut a little piece off right here to make it fit around my little money window. So I'm gonna use duct tape here. I always use duct tape. You can glue it down, tape it down, whatever you wanna do. Always remember that this is your project and you are more than welcome to do it how you please. I just use black duct tape you're not going to see the inside of this at all. You don't have to put very many pieces of tape on here but I just like to make mine sturdy. This needs to be thinner for the other side. I'm just gonna cut that piece in half. I'm even gonna use this little skinny piece. So we got the window tape down. Let's start gluing this bad boy together. I'm gonna glue the sides on first. I have glue all over my little sil silver piece, which I usually like to erase off. I always keep a pencil near me in case I get glue on things. I like to erase them. A lot of times it comes off with the eraser and it is. Sometimes it's spreading and makes it worse. <laughs> but if you keep erasing, it'll come off. Or you can like scratch it and it'll come off as well. This just has some, um, it has some hot glue on it. So let's glue these sides. I'm gonna turn this towards me. I'm gonna put a line of glue down the side. I kind of keep it um, away from the edge because I don't like it to really ooze out the sides. And I kind of dip it in the glue and then I pick it up and then move it to the edge. Okay, you got to hold it for a few minutes. Well, probably one minute is good enough. Till the glue starts to set. Same thing. I'm going to keep the glue kind of not at the edge. I like to move it over like a centimeter. And then, like I said, I like to dip the side in the glue. I pick it up a little bit, and then I move it to the edge. I'm going to turn this around so I can hold both sides at once. Okay, so now let's glue the back on. I'm just gonna go slowly down the edge Not too much glue. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna kinda do the same thing. Dip it in it and move it to the edge. Trying to ooze as little glue as possible out the side. 
Every project that I like to do, I like to make it really neat as possible because when I give this away to someone, I do not want it looking bad. This is turning out so cute already. Okay, now let's put our bottom on. The bottom should slide right inside. It should fit right inside, but be long too much, uh, you know, too long on the edge. And so that is absolutely perfect. What you're gonna do, you're gonna take your ruler and then you're gonna cut off a little bit. Don't go too far. You're gonna cut off, I'm gonna cut off about a centimeter and see you can glue totally glue it the way it was on the and it'll rest on the bottom but I like to push mine inside of the hole so it's like flush and not sticking out so I actually make mine fit inside of here so I put it I do I cut off whatever I need to so it fits right inside of the box I'm going to cut off a little, little tiny bit. And this is probably, I don't know, this may be a millimeter. Super thin. I'm going to cut off another millimeter on this side. And it should fit in here now. And it does. It fits. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little glue here. I'm going to go fast. A little glue here. A little glue here and a little glue here. I'm going to go around it really fast and neat. Doesn't take a lot. I don't want the glue to get cold. And once I glue, put the glue on all sides, then I'm simply going to push this in the hole. Make sure it's straight, flat, and it, if you, you cannot see it sticking out. I like to put it like inside of it. Can't see it sticking out. You can't see it sticking out away from it. It's flat here. Okay, we're coming along, we're coming along. I got my little duster because everything likes to stick to To this so I just like to dust everything off usually when you wipe the glue it'll make a mess so I just like to do that so we have our little slot right here that we're gonna put money so what you're gonna do you need um, about an inch this is a little bigger than an inch but like I said you have a PNG file that you can print out and pin it down and cut it out but I'm just gonna do this by hand you're gonna Take it about an inch. You're gonna measure it, how big this hold it hole is, and then you're just gonna go a little bit outside of the hole. So I'm just gonna put a little mark here. And let me test it to see. See, it's a little bit wider than the hole. That's all we need. I'm gonna straighten this side up over here. You need two of these, the same size. So I'm just gonna line them up like this. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put glue down one side and you're gonna simply sit this on the top of it. Just like that. You're gonna take a little square, take you a little square and you're gonna put it on one of the sides. You don't even have to put it on both sides, just one of them at least. You're gonna put it like a L on, on the corner so you can stick it to one, one side just for support. Just like this.
this is going to hold your money. So what you're going to do is we're going to put glue here. I'm actually going to put glue here as well. And I'm going to glue it and make a little shelf right here to hold the money. So this is going right outside of the hole just like this. But it's going to be inside the box. I'm going to glue it right here, but right here in the same direction. And so it's going to be a little bit lower than the money hole. Okay. So I'm going to glue it in now. And then I'll show it to you. See how it's a little shelf and it's going to hold the money on the other side of this little slot. I don't know how I got glue in my little money hole, but now I got glue everywhere. So I told you that we're just going to dust it off. I'm not going to wipe it off. Glue strings, glue strings. Okay. So the last little thing is my divider and the reason you don't have to put a divider, but my divider is here because I'm going to put, I like to put flowers in mine. So this divider goes right here. It's going to go right here. That way you can put like some products in here. I had bought some uh, Bath and Body Works, Victoria's Secrets, put it in here. This is longer than you need. You will have to cut it down, but I did that on purpose. I told you guys. So all you have to do is just glue this in and then your handles. So I'm gonna cut this down about an inch. And then I'm gonna stick it back in. Like this, <laughs> watch how I glue this. Um, I usually put glue on both sides and slide it back in, but I don't like how it like slides my glue down the wall because it fits so perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tilt it forward and I'm just gonna use my glue gun to drop glue in the corner. So I'm just gonna drop glue in the corner all the way down from the bottom, all the way up to the top. In the back. And it's running down the corner. It's going to run all the way down. I just dropped glue in the corner. It's going to run all the way down, and I'm going to do the front the same way. And then it's going to stay just like, like that. So I bought this purse chain. Like I said, I've, I haven't done this one before. But I bought this purse chain from... I think I bought a yard of it from, where did I buy this from? From Hobby Lobby, I did. So a lot of Chanel purses has like a cord going in here. So I might be creative and take a ribbon and put the ribbon in it. It's gonna take me a second. I think I want my chain on this side, even though this is where the words are. I still want my chain to be on this side. It's probably going to be about from here to here. From here to here. That's fine. I'll just hang it right above, right below the C before the Chanel at the bottom. And so I'm going to cut this chain about right here. So I'm going to go get some wire cutters. And then I'm going to cut it right where the 12 is. I'm gonna try this. I got my wire cutters. 
but I'm just gonna simply try to hold it with the wire cutters and take these little pliers and see if I can just, without cutting it, bend it. And I can. These suck. Instead of cutting it, I'm just taking it where the little piece of divider is and I'm just bending it and then I'll unhook it. I hope this is the right end. Yes, I think so. Let me see. Did I cut it directly in the middle? How did I do that? Look at that. I did not measure that and look at that. That is freaking crazy. I don't even know how I did that. I don't know. I just eyed the middle and didn't even know it. So, like I said, I like to be extra. My name is Kelly Extra Nicole. That's my name. So, I'm just going to try this. I don't even know if I'm going to like it or if I'm going to want it. But, I'm going to try it anyway. So, this is kind of tedious. It's probably going to take me a second to do. But, why not try it? I'm going to make this longer. Then, and I'm just going to weed this weave this <laughs> weave this in and out kind of like it is when you buy a, a bag and it might be cute so i'm not going to make you watch all of this part But I think it's a really cute idea. And so let's try it and see if it works. I might, I might be here all day doing this. But if it ends up being cute, I'll be happy I did it. See what it looks like so far? <laughs> I love it. Okay, so I'm going to do this and I'm going to come back. I finally got it. Perfect. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this ribbon. But I'm going to use this ribbon to glue my chain in. So I think that'll be the easiest. I'm going to put some glue right here close to the chain and I'm going to glue the ribbon to the chain on the end just so it'll stay I put a dot of glue like I said you don't have to do this I'm going to do the same thing on this side so I can just keep it stretched out I'm going to put some glue on the ribbon glue the ribbon to the chain that way the chain, I won't have to worry about the chain shrinking and sliding. Like so. So I'm going to actually put glue on here. I'm gonna put it inside the hole here. And I'm going to put glue on my ribbon and glue it to the sidewall. So that's how I'm gonna glue this down. That way I won't have to worry about trying to glue the chain if I just glue the ribbon. I'm gonna take half of this off. I'm gonna put glue on it a good amount. I'm gonna put it through the hole and then I'm gonna press it on the sidewall. This is gonna hold this in that is hot. Then I'm gonna drape this around the front. Or actually that's the back. In the position where I want it, I'm gonna put the ribbon through the hole over here. I'm gonna cut it down some. And then I'm gonna do it the same way. I'm gonna put glue on the sidewall. And I'm going to press the ribbon in the glue so it can stay.
both sides flat flush to the wall I'm going to touch it make sure it's drying and technically you know we're done all you have to do now is add whatever you're going to add I like to put my flowers here I like to put some products here and let me go grab some so please excuse my mess that's over here give me a second to tidy up Okay, so this is our box, super adorable. I'm going to put some little cute little items in here. I wanted to get like a lotion and a soap and, but they didn't have all of that. So I'm simply going to add some cute perfume here. Something, whatever a mama likes. You're going to put whatever you want to in here. It does not matter. So that's totally up to you what you're going to put in here. Uh, on my other one, I used a lotion, a body oil, and a spray. But you can put whatever you want in here. I like to take a little piece of nano tape right here. I'll take a little piece, like an inch, a square inch. And then I'll put it on the bottom of whatever item I'm using just to keep it sturdy and then I simply put it on just like that so when I move the box they won't move so when I transport it to take it to whoever I'm giving it to put a piece of nano tape on there put it in position that way it doesn't have to move If you buy somebody some of this perfume, take it out the box. It's cute. Just like so. I actually want to move this up some. And so you can stick some tissue paper in here. I have a set of roses. I'm going to pull apart. I'm going to pull this plastic off. It has some pretty paper in it. I don't want to... I'm going to cut these down because I only want them to hang out of my box a certain amount. So I am going to cut these off. They have a lot of thorns on them, so I'm trying to be careful. No, this is not the proper way to cut flowers. Please don't do what I do. Cut them at the sink. Cut them, you know. I think you have to cut them like perpendicular or something under the water while it's running. This is sticky and it hurts. So once I get my flowers to however you want to have them, I need some gloves on. I don't necessarily need this paper that's, that's, that they're wrapped in, but it's cute. I don't necessarily need those. But I do want to wrap the bottom of the flowers because they're wet and I don't want my box to get wet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up these flowers and you can use whatever flower. You don't have to use roses. You can use any flower. And these still may be a little too long. We're going to go with it. I need to cut these down a little tiny bit more, but I'm not going to. 
So you're gonna rearrange these however necessary. Then you're gonna take your plastic. I'm gonna simply wrap it around the bottom of my flowers like this. I'm gonna take some tape, whatever kind of tape you wanna use. And then I'm just gonna go around the bottom to hold the plastic on the flowers. Just like that. I'm gonna put those to the side. We're almost done. Okay, last step. Our money. So we're gonna use one, two, three, four, five. You can use five dollar bills, two dollar bills, one dollar bills, or whatever. I'm gonna take some of this satin tape and I'm gonna take these together. I'm gonna to line it up, put one on top of the other, and I'm gonna tape it all the way across, all the way to the edge. Just little tiny pieces. And I'm gonna do that for all five of them. Tape it all the way across. If you have any left over on the edge, just wrap it around the back. Make sure you use some tape that's gonna be easy to remove because you don't want them to tear the money. Put five of these together. Wrap it around the back. And I'm gonna put it up, flip it over, and I'm actually gonna put tape on this side as well. Cause I want the money to stay flush with each other. I don't want, as I'm pulling it out, the box it to get stuck. Okay, so we're ready. So whatever side you want to come out the front, you're gonna start at the back, and you're simply gonna roll it up. I got a little roll here, and then I'm just gonna keep rolling. I'm gonna keep rolling. Roll it kind of tight. Keep it pulled. Keep rolling it. Keep rolling it, keep rolling it, keep rolling it. Keep rolling it, keep rolling it. Keep rolling it. Keep rolling it. Once you rolled it all the way, you're going to hold it like this. You're going to put it through the hole. You're gonna put the money through the hole and then you're gonna put sit the money inside of your little holder. So you let it go and it's just gonna rest in there. And so when they get the gift, they're just gonna pull, pull, pull and pull all the money out, just like that. So roll it back up. If you need to roll it on something, Get you a pencil or a marker or something. It might make it make it a little easier for you. You're gonna roll, keep rolling it up. Once you start it on your pencil, you can take it back off and then keep rolling it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to stick this money out of here and I'm just gonna rest that there. And I kinda like to pull it down a little bit so it can kinda like come down. And you're good to go. And then you're gonna drop your flowers in the hole. And push them. I'm gonna cut these down some more. Sorry. I want them shorter. It's actually too many flowers is, is what it is. Oh, it has a lot of extra stuff in it. Put your plastic back on. We're just gonna do this for the video. We're just gonna make it look pretty. I might not even have to put 
as many in here. And there we have it. Super cute. I didn't even have to put all the flowers in there. I think my last one had a bouquet of like mixed flowers, but look how cute. Look how cute. You can also use your S make a um use the SVG template that I gave you, and you can simply this is some uh This is, you know, some paper. And then you put this paper in your Cricut, your silhouette, and you cut out the SVG. And then you glue it on. And you have your template. You could just buy some kind of paper that has a have a design on it. Or, you know, we have this one as well. Super cute. super cute and then let me show you the last one the flowers are out now but this was the other one and this one is super cute there you have it so um you can make these all kind of ways however you want to do it super easy super fun and whoever you give this to they are absolutely going to love it i promise you until next time, people. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe.